All right, I know I always say this is going to be short, but I promise this is going to be really short. Uh, I actually uh, was doing a couple things here. One you can kind of see in the background. Uh, the other day I'd shown a video about Crocodile Hunter, uh, kind of a client and server setup. Um, after looking at it a little closer and getting into the database, uh, I see it actually is. This is on the client uh, end, which is running on the NUC I talked about and the information was being put in a database I was able to push it back across to the server and I confirmed on the server and went into the database and the information was was being pushed in there I just had to figure out why is it not displaying in that project or uh, when it's uh, when the server stopped and then that project is uh, spun up and not being displayed anyways um, so that's one thing but um, while well, messing with that and then thinking about ways uh, to have uh, cesium because uh, I showed that as well the DF aggregator using cesium and ways of displaying um, like spare Wi-Fi uh, output or kismet uh, I kinda wanna create something to tie everything together but in the meanwhile I, I came across this cesium KML cgml editor um, because someone else had asked on YouTube about uh, displaying output uh, from Kismet and um, like Google Maps and so on and so forth. So I came across this and really I couldn't believe how easy this is to get up and going here, uh, at least in the quick test I did. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm going to copy this. This is a uh, live instance of uh, Dragon OS on the NOC here. And uh, so we got to do a couple things. Let's let's change into our uh, var www.html, and if we recall, that's where the stuff is sitting for Yate uh, BTS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this in here, and the cesium. Obviously, a long directory. You can change that name, but uh, let's copy this for a second. Just couple other things we need to do because this is running live let's make a directory in the var log and we'll call it Apache 2 and let's start our Apache 2 start it up and if you're running live and you don't make the log uh, directory it's not going to start so alright so now Let's take a look in here. One twenty seven one slash copy and paste what we just did. And so this is pulling from that directory. And now probably kind of looks familiar to what I showed yesterday with DF aggregator. Uh, but now we got this new interface here over off to the left in our map. We can change. Uh, our maps which uh, the NUC is uh, connected to the internet so I'm pulling in map data from there um, I went out to the internet and just googled a, a sample KML file downloaded it I'm gonna open it and uh, you know because this is probably running live and on the NUC it you know might not be the fastest setup but you can see right there I imported uh, KML I've got the information here I can uh, uh, export it to CZML and again like I said this part's a, a little slow I'm sure if I did it over on the uh, laptop with a uh, NVIDIA and whatnot probably be a little bit faster but you can see uh, that was really uh, simple um, I don't know if there was additional prerequisites and I just happened to have them all uh, in there from where I had DF aggregator or what uh, but let's see let this finish loading so there we go uh, so I'd be curious to see you know the output of uh, say for example kismet uh, to KML it should be I would think pretty uh, pretty simple to get into here you can see where they've even had uh, additional graphics 
overlaid for the outline of the park and then of course you have access if you got internet to different types of uh, map data and you know I'm sure if uh, your speeds a little faster it'll probably load a little quicker than it is for me so that was pretty quick uh, but just wanted to show that some people had asked and uh, I kinda have a vision of tying multiple things together not necessarily to kind of reinvent how things are done but I just want to tie multiple programs together uh, that are already included in uh, Dragon OS so you can see this was fairly easy to add uh, until I get to that point where everything's tied together.